Hello and welcome to the channel. Today is Friday and it's time for another Friday fun video. And what we are going to do in today's video is that we are going to fly an aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator X using Python. So we are going to write a Python script which is going to control, uh, which is which is like which will take off our plane from the runway. Now this is, I mean, I'm playing FSX with Python, but you can pretty much play any game with, I mean, with Python or any other. Uh, programming language because you know you just need to simulate the mouse and the keyboard events and it will probably it should work now what we have on screen is that on the left hand side I have the FSX game window on on the right side I have the PyCharm open uh, where I will write my Python script uh, I've opened I mean make sure to open PyCharm or any Python IDE or any Python script uh, as an administrator before uh, doing this now let's talk about how we normally fly an aircraft inside the FSX so now let's talk about how we normally fly an aircraft inside the Microsoft Flight Simulator X so let me just resume it so now you can see that we are inside the cockpit let me show you we are currently using EasyJet's Boeing 737 um, aircraft for this video let's go back to the cockpit so I mean what in order to make the plane take off we first need to give full throttle so we just need to pull these uh, throttles so that full power is uh, given to the aircraft and then when the aircraft reaches a certain uh, speed we can pull this yoke in order to make the aircraft take off now i don't have i don't have uh, the joystick i normally use mouse so if i bring my mouse backwards let me just show you so if i bring my mouse backward like this now if you if you pull the if you pull your mouse backwards you will see that a yoke is starting to go backwards which will make our plane take off now in the same way i can control the plane's movement like if i make it turn it towards left it, the plane will go left or if i make it right the plane will go right so in this way we control the plane's uh, uh, orientation uh, when we are playing the fsx now we will do the same thing from our python script so we will write a normal small like three four lines of the code which will bring this yoke back and our plane will start to take off now there are many libraries already available which can simulate the mouse and the keyboard events but those libraries don't normally work when you play game because game uh, accepts the mouse and the keyboard input as a direct x input and those uh, libraries don't provide the direct x input so one of the libraries which i found uh, is working with our case is the import uh, is the mouse uh, library let me increase the font size so using the mouse library we can control our mouse movement when we were playing uh, the game now first thing what we need to do is in order to fly this aircraft we need to first align our mouse on the center position so somewhere here so let's try to write a code which will bring our uh, mouse from wherever it is present on the screen to uh, where uh, we need it on the center screen so for that i will write mouse dot os move dot move to now depending upon what type of screen you are using so i'm currently using the resolution of 920 into 1080 so you will have to adjust this x and y accordingly but i think if we want to make put our mouse somewhere here we need to use let's just go with 500 by 500 and let me just run this code so you can see if I run this code my mouse goes somewhere here and we need it like at this position so I can increase this X so basically this is the X position and this is the Y position so now if I run it again you will see that okay now it looks to be at a correct position and this is the, this is the center position so now we are at the center position now we need to be in the center position for some time so because we cannot take off immediately we need to wait for some time so that the aircraft is in the proper speed uh, and then we will take off so we don't have anything through which we can add, uh, we can get the speed of the aircraft but we will simply assume that like after 25 seconds aircraft will achieve whatever speed it needs for the takeoff so let me also import time here now let me print 
center aligned okay so now our mouse will be centrally aligned and it will be aligned at this position for the next 25 seconds so we are assuming that for 25 seconds uh, we will our aircraft will attain a maximum takeoff speed now after this we need to once we reach at that particular speed after 25 seconds we need to pull our mouse backwards to this position so that the yoke will also move backwards and plane will finally take off so for that uh, let's change the mouse position and uh, in this situation i think the x position which is this position i mean x position will remain same only the y position y position will change so uh, 600 and let's take uh, probably 800 let's let's test with 800 and then we'll change now once we have changed the mouse position we need to be in the same position for the next maybe 20 seconds so that we can properly take off otherwise if we just change the position the plane will take off and then immediately it will go down uh, I will also put some delay here so that we can move inside the game and we can start we can resume the game because it's currently uh, paused so I'll simply so here we will get some like five seconds time so that we can resume our game and give full throttle to the plane and then after that it will automatically align to the center and once it is aligned to the center it will wait for 25 seconds so that the plane is in the it has reached the takeoff speed and after that we can take off so let's try to run this code and see where it goes okay it is started p to y and i've given full throttle so let's see the plane has started moving on the runway okay uh, we have a problem here so instead of let me just go back to the code we have so instead of giving five seconds delay we should be only one second delay so let me just run it again okay so our mouse has aligned properly now we will wait for 25 seconds and after that the plane should take off automatically as per our python script so let's wait and watch I think something went wrong and we are not able to properly take off okay yes so you can see the yoke moved the mouse moved and we are kind of taking off perfectly fine so that's how you control an aircraft okay it is going to be in the stall position because I think that's not the rate that's not the proper angle of how you take off so we can adjust it okay so with 800 our plane was able to properly take off um, let's do one thing let's once once our plane has properly take off let's wait for probably five seconds and then and then change the orientation back to let's say i would say 750 or something like that so that it goes i mean so that it goes like this and then goes and then at point and then it keeps on uh, increasing the altitude and then we'll continue doing this for next 30 seconds mm. yep so let me just quickly restart the game perfect so we are back let me just quickly prepare the aircraft let's go outside and yep that's good uh, let's go back to let's go inside the cockpit uh, and let's also run our code yes so let's run this and then let's go inside the cockpit and give full throttle so you can see our plane is uh, i mean our mouse cursor is center aligned and then after 25 seconds it should be able to take off properly
perfect so the yolk has moved back a bit uh, no it failed actually so we need to move it a bit more backwards so i think instead of 800 we should do 1000 and then we can be back to 800 that will be good so let me just quickly restart the game and let's also print the message here print taking off let's quickly prepare our aircraft again so I'll do this let's go outside now it looks good perfect let's go back to the cockpit and let me start our code again and I'll go back to resume it and give full throttle so I've given full throttle so we are back on the runway we are back on the runway and let's go back to the cockpit let me also pull it down yeah so we can see how much speed we are getting now let me run the code so code is started resumed f4 and yes so you can see our speed is live our mouse cursor is aligned center and we are at 50 knots eighty knots hundred knots and we are taking off perfect so at around one let me just go outside so you can see we have started taking off let me okay great so in this way we can control a plane's aircraft uh, uh, an air aircraft and we can take off in Microsoft Flight Simulator X using Python although it doesn't look good because I'm sure we are going to go into this tall position let me just control my plane manually yep now it's good so this is all about how you can write a simple basic code using mouse library to interact with any game you want uh, I mean we just played Microsoft Flight Simulator but we can play any other game we want because it's just a matter of simulating the mouse and the keyboard events. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'll probably try to make some other uh, videos on the same game FSX and controlling it from the Python. So that's all for this video. Uh, like, share and subscribe to the channel.